Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy. I'm here with today's smartphone news. Friday, August 5th, 2011. This just in. Dear elderly man at the gym, it's hard for me to keep composure while punching at chipmunk speed when your ball sack spills out of your wind shorts. Jessica Simpson. First up, file under color me excited. The Nokia N9 is coming and is due to launch September 23rd in Sweden. The N9 is the first and hopefully not the last Mego powered smartphone from Nokia. It offers a 3.9 inch AMOLED display, 1 gigahertz processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 16 or 16 gigabytes of internal storage, 8 megapixel camera, 720p video capture, front facing shooter and 1400 milliamp hour battery rated at 7 hours of talk time. If you haven't seen the N9 in action, a simple double tap on the display fires up the phone and once fired up offers three main displays. The first shows all of your applications, the second offers up your notifications including messaging, email, Facebook, Twitter, appointments, and the third panel shows the applications that are currently running. For the life of me, I don't understand why Nokia doesn't put more into Mego and the N9 instead of wasting their time and money on smartphones like the X7 with Symbia Anna or Bell or whatever it's called this week. Next up, file under someone we know sucks. AT&T is cracking down on those using their jailbroken iPhones to tether to other devices without the proper data plan. Many have been using apps like MyY to share their wireless internet connection, but it seems a jig is up and AT&T wants their money. If you're one of those currently ripping off AT&T, Good for you, but keep in mind you're going to have one of three choices based on the stern letter you're getting from AT&T. First up, stop tethering and keep your current plan. Number two, proactively call AT&T and fork over the money needed for a tethering plan. And three, do nothing and AT&T will add the tethering plan on your behalf after the date noted on your customer notification. Funny how it's okay for AT&T to rip us off, but they don't seem to like it when the tables are turned. AT&T, I got two words for you and they're not let's dance. Next up, the latest iPhone 5 rumors and a look at the next iPhone 5. This photo of what appears to be an iPhone has been circulating around the web since yesterday and claims to be the real deal, in other words, the next iPhone 5. The picture was allegedly taken at the offices of a French carrier and while many claim to have a picture of the next iPhone, Apple has delivered the iPhone 5 to carriers for testing according to reports this week with this picture arriving on the web shortly thereafter. So what do you think? Is this an actual picture of the long-awaited iPhone 5? Next up, Sprint and Samsung unveil the Conquer 4G. Sprint and Samsung announced today the Conquer 4G smartphone which offers some decent specs at a very reasonable price. The Conquer 4G offers a 1 GHz processor, Android 2.3 gingerbread, 3.5 inch display, WiMAX 4G connectivity, 3.2 megapixel camera, 1.3 megapixel front facing shooter, Wi Fi 802.11 BGNN, GPS capable, micro SD card support up to 32 GB, stereo Bluetooth wireless technology, 3G slash 4G mobile hotspot capable of supporting up to 5 devices. The Samsung Conquer 4G will be available on Sprint August 21st and sells for $99.99 with the new two-year agreement. And finally, Big Red looks to have some shit going down third quarter. The long-awaited gingerbread update for the HTC Thunderbolt is due to arrive this quarter, bringing with it improved Sense UI, Skype video, quicker GPS lock, and of course the usual Android 2.3 goodies. Yesterday, IGN published a leaked Verizon roadmap showing the Samsung Galaxy S2 variant, now called the Samsung Stratosphere, arriving September 8th, along with another dual-core monster, the Motorola Droid Bionic. Currently, if you're an LG Revolution owner, you should be receiving a software update for the LG Revolution, which offers a number of improvements, which can be seen over at SmartphoneEmmy.com. So there you have it for August 5th, and don't forget to let me know what you think of these stories, and remember...